Wind damage recovery efforts are underway this afternoon. Hurricane force winds knocked down trees that destroyed homes, blocked roads and blew out power for thousands of people. This will be a difficult and costly mission. KTLA 5's Shelby Nelson joins us live from Altadena with how people are coping this afternoon. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Sam and Court. Yes, so many of us were woken up by those roaring winds the past few days, and they were powerful enough to cause some pretty pricey damages, including the homeowner that is facing this, what you see right behind me, those giant exposed roots. And then beyond that, the tree fell onto their home. You can see just how much damage there is out here. The Santa Ana winds came and went, but the powerful winds left a lasting mark that could be seen across the Southland. Fences, roofs, and shambles. At Fire Station 152 in Covina, some unlucky county workers' vehicles were dealt a heavy blow. This big tree crashed through a retaining wall and onto windshields. Along eastbound lanes of the 210 freeway in Fontana, a semi-truck was no match for the gusty winds that caused it to topple over near Cherry Avenue. On Danes Drive in Temple City, one tree's roots broke free, crashing into the front of this home, and that's one of the many trees that crashed into homes. A day after the winds calmed down, this is what it still looks like on Beverly Way in Altadena. I heard this cracking sound. I looked over my sister and we looked over, and sure enough, we saw the big tree is actually three of them that, that on the domino effect. Charles Phillips was out bringing his trash cans in when he saw the massive tree brought down by the wind, its roots completely exposed. Thank God they went at home and thank God they didn't, no one got hurt. The cleanup, an extensive one and a result of powerful winds and weak, unstable ground after months of rainstorms. Over in La Crescenta, inspectors yellow tagged this property when a tree fell onto this home. It sounded like an explosion, to be honest. I immediately ran upstairs. I was on the phone with my brother. I was like, something happened. Uh, tree was through my house, ran outside. And I'm not sure if you could uh, see or decipher, but there are actually two roots that are exposed, one tree on top of the other out here at this Altadena home. Now, in the meantime, earlier I spoke to a spokesperson from SoCal Edison. She says they received hundreds of calls. And as of about 1.30 this afternoon, nearly 2,400 customers were without power and likely due to the wind event we just had. Now, coming up a little bit later on, Upland and Riverside, they saw some owls that fell to the ground uh, out of their nest. So we're going to have more from the folks who spotted that, those owls. But for now, live here in Altadena, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.